Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to create free tier AWS Postgres RDS instance. Let me navigate to my AWS management console. RDS. This is the console of Amazon RDS. Let's go to databases. Currently there are no instances. Create database. From this window, we can create the database. We can choose the creation method, either standard create or easy create. Engine options. I'm choosing PostgreSQL. I'm going to choose PostgreSQL version 12.9. Let's choose free tier. We must provide DB instance identifier. Let's see AWS PostgreSQL. Master username. Let's say fun with ATL. We must define master password. Confirm password. instance class I'm choosing micro so this is the default instance class for free tire storage let's have the default storage and let's have default threshold as well VPC we can have the default VPC. If required, we can create a new VPC. Likewise, subnet group. I'm choosing default subnet group. Based on the VPC created, we can choose the subnet group public access the option S will allow us to communicate with the database outside the VPC and AC2 instance no option will allow us only to communicate from AC2 instance
VPC security group. We can choose existing one or we can create new one. I'm choosing the existing default one. Availability zone. We can choose the zone. Additional configuration. We can define the port number. Database authentication. I'm going with password authentication. We can provide password and IAM database authentication or password and Kerbos authentication. Additional configuration. We can define the database name. Let's say AWS PostgreSQL DB parameter group. I'm choosing default parameter group. And we can define the backup frequency. We can define the days over here. We have from zero to 35 days. We can define the backup window as well. We can also utilize backup replication mechanism. By checking this option, we can enable performance insights and retention period by default is seven days. Long term retention is two years. AWS KMS key. We can have the default one or we can enter an ARN key. This is the account. We can define the monitoring options. Also, we can define the log exports to be published into CloudWatch. We have maintenance option over here. We can opt if required. Estimated monthly cost. So since we are using free tire, we don't have any cost associated with our database. Now let's create database. database is successfully created. Let's view the connection details. Let's check the properties of the database. These are the summaries. This is our endpoint. Let's configure in our ID. I'm using PG admin. 
let's create server let's say aws hyphen postgres sql connection this is the endpoint port is 5432 maintenance database is postgres username is fun with dtl password save connection is created Thank you. If you have any doubts, please mention in the comments.